What's up everybody, Gerald here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are up here on Long Lake at Dan Fishing Complex. We're going to be here for 48 hours, we've got Dan and Ronnie with us. Dan's already been here for 24 hours, actually no, scrap that, 48 hours and he's had three fish up to 24 pounds. So I'll put a few pictures of them in now for you to see, he's actually doing quite well. It has been blazing hot, so the fish haven't really been feeding too heavily today. So hopefully now as it starts to cool down, we can get a bite or two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it all set up and get the rods out and then I will show you exactly where we're fishing and uh, give you the rundown of what's going on. eight o'clock and the rods are all finally out i've actually been up here since four o'clock um, but there was someone in this swim and i wanted to fish this one like i said because dan's already been here for 48 hours i wanted to be kind of close to him and there was a perfect swim right in the middle for ronnie to go into as well so that's why i waited um, i wanted to get the pivot all set up and get myself all ready for the night for the next couple of days before i got the rods out and plus it was really hot. i didn't feel like the fish were going to be feeding anyway so the left hand rod is out seven and a half wraps which is just off the bar the uh, middle rod is eight rods out, which is on top of the bar, and then the right hand rod is about seven and a half as well, just off the bar. It's just over seven and a half, seven, maybe three quarters. The bar does actually do a little bit of a funky wave uh, motion just out in front of me. Like I say, we're just over halfway up the lake, so I'm not going to show you the actual swim um, and point out where I am because it's, it's pretty featureless, really, visually. So, no point in me showing you that, but I can tell you I am fishing between seven and eight and a half wraps. Um, out there but if you put the marker lead out you'll find the bar it's quite vicious in here as some of you will know so yeah we're all set up um, I've put three spoms around each rod uh, all with the king krill in it and uh, hopefully that'll do the job like I say Dan's had a few fish he's had three fish up to 24 pounds and they've all come very close in four and a half wraps so that's where the end of the edge of the bar is for him is actually four and a half wraps out and he's fishing the swim that I fished on my last long lake video where I had the 34 and the uh, 31 lever so just goes to show you like the bar's four and a half wraps and it goes out to seven and a half and then i think that if you chuck it on the back of the bar it's about 16 wraps it's crazy weird old bar up here but yeah so we're here for 48 hours um what i'll do is i'll show you the actual swim and everything in the morning but for now what we're doing sit back have a barbecue have some food just relax for the evening but i thought i'd give you a quick rundown let you know what's going on and I will see you all soon. Hopefully we have a fish in the night and you'll see me then. But if not, we'll see you first thing in the morning. I'll run you through the rigs and uh, let you know what's going down. Good morning, it's 6.30 a.m. I'm the first one up, everybody else is still asleep. And as you can tell, as you didn't see me in the night, I caught absolutely nothing. Very, very quiet. I uh, laid here after we retired to our bivvies at about half 11, because we were having a nice little social out there, having a good catch up. I laid here for probably two hours, looking out 
through the vents in my bivvy at the lake. I didn't see nothing show. And it was deadly quiet. Not a single noise. So no fish boshing out. So it was very quiet. Fish just didn't seem to be very active last night. Where It was probably where it was very, very warm yesterday. It did get up to 33, I believe. It was boiling. So I'm wondering if that just stopped the fish from feeding. Hopefully today, it's meant to be a little bit cooler. They might start to feed. So fingers crossed. What we'll have to do is... Um, Wait it out for a couple more hours because this is a good bite time right now while it's still cool. I'll wait till the sun gets up and uh, it's at its warmest and then I'll probably bring the rods in, get the marker rod back out. Just check the spots because um, I am fishing swim I've never fished before. I just want to check I am fishing on a good spot and then put a little bit of bait out, get the trap set back out there and then just sit and wait. That's all we can do really on here. I know my last video probably made it seem easy but... It, it really isn't. It's actually quite hard, this lake. Um, you've got to really put in the time. And the only person really on here at the minute that's catching a lot of fish is Dan. That's where he's putting in the time. And obviously Dan, wherever Dan goes, he catches fish. He's actually off to Tricklebrook on Tuesday as well. So in like two days, he's off to Tricklebrook. So I'm sure he'll catch when he goes there as well. But yeah, he seems to be the only one catching at the minute. So we're going to sit back now and just contemplate what we're going to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to change the rigs. I'm confident in the rigs. I know they work. I know the bait works. So it's not that. I think it's just where it's been so hot and the fish aren't feeding. So here is my swim. Just for reference, I am two swims down to the left from where Dan fished in the last video that we've done up here on Long Lake. And as you can see, not a lot of visual features really to fish to. You've actually got to find that bar and find all the underwater features and fish to them in this lake. But I will be later on, once the gentleman who's just tucked up in the swim there behind that bush has gone, I am going to put a rod right over there, chuck it right up next to that bush because I do know fish do like to sit in there. Um, the left hand rod is just out in line with that. <laughs> big old tree over there seven and a half wraps and then the right hand rod is in line with this tree uh, eight wraps and they are fishing just off the bar and the middle rod is currently sitting on top of the bar so i'm trying to find the fish to see whether they're patrolling in the bottom in like the little gully at the bottom of the bar or if they're on the top of the bar the top of the bar is vicious though guys so if you are going to fish up there be careful it's very sharp um make sure you're tackled up well because it's quite hard so Dan is up and awake and he had a bream in the night and then he lost one as well at about 5 o'clock this morning. And as we were standing there having a chat as well, his left hand rods pulled round, rod tip completely bent, line coming out the spool and everything. As he's lifted into it, he's got a clean cut off. Literally picked it up and just cut straight off on the bar. Like I was saying, that bar is absolutely vicious. So he's now probably got like <laughs> two foot of rig tubing on there just to try and counteract that, back out on the spot. All of these fish have come on that left hand rod as well, on the same spot, so it goes to show. Fish are feeding, so looking good. Hopefully I can get a bite, but we've just got to wait and see. So I've just sat and had my breakfast now, I'm feeling nice and full. The guy opposite me is now packing up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my rods in a minute, and then when I do, obviously I'll show you the rigs whilst I've got the rods in, and then I'll let you know where I've repositioned them to. So very quickly, whilst we've got the rods out of the water, let me just show you the rig. Very simple. Got some coated braid and we've just stripped it here to give it a little bit of suppleness. Then we've got a kicker down to a size 6 gardener mugger hook with a Kent Particles King Krill bottom bait and a Sticky Baits Peach and Pepper pop-up that's been coated and soaking in some pineapple goo. So that's on one of the rods. The other two rods are actually fishing with a Krill white ones, little 12 mil pop-up, fish snowman style, instead of the Peach and Peppers pop-up. So the rods are all redone. The left hand rod has been chucked out towards this tree now at 10 wraps. The middle rod is out towards this bush at 13 and 3 quarter wraps. And then the right hand rod is out towards this big tree at 10 and 3 quarters. We put four spawns of bait around each single one. And hopefully that will bring the fish in. It's one o'clock, it's boiling hot, and there's no signs of fish anywhere. Being very quiet, no one on the lake's caught, so we'll probably have to wait till the evening now. Not a lot we can do about it. 
So we're just going to sit here and relax. All the rods are out on the spots with force bombs around each one. So I'm not putting any more bait out until we get a bite. And I won't bring the rods in at all now until we catch one. So we're just going to have to sit it out and wait. So if you watched the last video, I'm sure you're aware that we're actually supposed to be at Lovelace on this session. But unfortunately, it's fully booked. They've got a lake exclusive there for the next two days. And as Dan was already here, we didn't really see the point in packing up for him to go there for one night and then pack up and come back here. It would have been ridiculous and pointless. So we thought we'd just come up here and give it a go. We did have a little look at other places, but being the time of the year, everybody's out fishing. Everywhere else is either fully booked or is busy. And getting three people on a lake was quite difficult. So we knew we'd be able to get on here. We've come up here. It was quite busy yesterday, but we got the swims that we wanted. And then today, there's only five of us on the lake. So it has actually got a lot quieter. And I'm hoping the less lines in the water will mean more fish. And now, as the sun's actually started to go in a little bit, because we're getting a lot of cloud cover, it's cooled down. It's a lot more um, fish friendly, a lot more bite friendly. It's not blazing hot. The sun isn't beating on the surface of the lake. And the fish aren't out there sunbathing from what we've seen. The last couple of days, they've just literally been on the surface and Dan's been getting them on zigs. Um, but today, we've seen no signs of fish, nothing. So I'm hoping they're pugged up somewhere, ready for feeding this evening. But we'll have to wait and see, won't we? That's what it is all about. You can't always be catching fish. Um, you've got to be patient. Like I say, the rods now are not going to get touched until tomorrow unless we catch one. It is only 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But I know they're fishing. I know they're in good spots and they've got plenty of bait around them. So I'm just going to leave the trap set and see what happens. The evening's drawing in now. We've probably got about an hour of light left. And still no fish. But we're out here. We're trying. We're doing everything we can to try and get one on the bank on camera obviously Dan had the three before I got here and he has lost two since I've been here unfortunately the bar has been mistreating him quite a lot the last two sessions he's done he's been cut off I think four times on it he's not been doing anything different it's just unfortunate but yeah we're gonna sit here now we're gonna watch the water for a few hours this is prime bite time now it's starting to cool down the sun's gone in it hasn't been as warm today it's been a little bit overcast look bang on for a fish to be honest with you it just hasn't happened and like i said they haven't been showing the previous few days you've been able to see the fish cruising around and i haven't seen anything spoke to the guys down in the bailiffs and they've actually had two fish um, but they're not very big i think the biggest was like 20 pound so they are out and about let's just hope they can stumble across our bait and we can get one night time has arrived it's pitch black outside and just before it got dark we had a really weird take on the middle rock, which is right over on that bush. The alarm bleeped a couple of times. Me and Dan were sitting there, we were looking at it. And he said he could see the line pulling. I walked up to the rod, it's beeped three or four more times. And I put my hand on the spot and I can feel it slowly just ticking line out. Lifted into it. For a second it felt like there was something there. And then it was gone. So unfortunately, I don't know whether that was a take. It could have maybe been a bream or something just messing about with the bait. But, you know, we've got the whole of the night, we've got all of day tomorrow to try and get one on the bank. Hopefully one of us has one. Uh, Dan's retired now. I'm all tucked up. We're going to get our head down now, get some sleep. Hopefully I'll be back in the night. Apologise for the terrible lighting. Normally I have the ring light out, but I can't bother to get it out of the bag and put it on the tripod and everything. So I'm just using the normal light for a bit. So hopefully you will see me very soon out there in the dark with a fish if not i'll see you in the morning as you can see it is pitch black out there now but i've got a nice little bit of ambient lighting going on from the uh, new direction bucket over there i should probably change that to one solid color rather than having it flashing all night otherwise people might be thinking i'm having a rave over here good morning um quiet night for me but i've been woken up twice by dan He's got two fish at once. This is the smaller of the two, a nice little 18 and a half pound common off a little baited spot, just a few rod lengths out. Let's get some pictures and then let's get the big girl out. And here we are, he's the bigger of the two. How much did it weigh? 33, four. What an absolute cracker. He's been putting in the time and he's been getting the rewards. Another 30 for Dan from Long Lake. Let's get some photos. 
get it right. What a result for Dan in the early hours of the morning. The lake's gone and rewarded him with two fish, topped off with a lovely 33 pound common. He's been up here for four days, putting in the work, putting in the effort, and it's gone and rewarded, rewarded him with a lovely fish. Very happy for him, well done, mate. For me, it was very quiet once again through the night, not even a bleep. I'm fishing on some really good spots. I know these fish, um, spots produce fish, so I'm, I'm happy with where the rods are, they've all got bait around them, it just doesn't seem to be happening for me on this session. So I've got about six hours to try and catch one, I'm going to keep soldiering on, keep going, I'm not going to move the rods, I'm not going to touch them, I might put in a little bit more bait just around the uh, ones that are like on the far bank and just try to see if I can draw a fish in. But fingers crossed we can get one, if not, doesn't matter, that's what fishing is, that's why it's called fishing and not catching. You can be up here for four or five days and not catch, it's not an easy lake. Like I say, I know the last video made it seem like it is, it's not, but it has got some absolute amazing rewards in it, and it's well worth putting some time on here to catch one. Time to start packing up, unfortunately. No fish for me, no more for Dan, but he's had a really successful session. He's going to trickle book for two days now, and then he's coming back, so I'll give you an update in the next video about how he got on at trickle book, and uh, if he caught any more when he got back here. But yeah, I'm going to get a bit packed up, get myself off home. Unfortunately, nothing for me, like I say, but that's fishing for you. So hopefully next time we have a little bit more success. So I'm going to get all packed up and I will see you all soon. So until next time, tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon. Hello, hello. I know you thought the video had ended, but there was no way I could go home without catching a fish. So what I've done is I've uh, taken a few hours off, had something to eat, relaxed a little bit, come down on the club pond, and I've managed to go and get ourselves a nice little carp. Wahee! A nice little one from the club pond. I'm not going to count it as a blank saver because it's a completely different lake. There it is. Nice little one. Get some pictures, get it back. See if we can get another one quickly before we go home. So it's always nice to finish the video on a fish. And here's a nice little pretty common out of the club pond, not massive. So for now we're gonna say tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon.